ask you a question. Everybody having a good time? Feeling great? Happy? Well, I've got a story that's gonna fix all that. A high school student near Dallas has been arrested for bringing a homemade clock to school. 14-year-old Ahmed Mohammed built the clock over the weekend to show his engineering teacher. At least three teachers thought it was a bomb and they called police. Oh my God, this story is just awful. The kid made a clock and he got arrested for it? And look at this, they handcuffed the poor kid in his NASA t-shirt. That's ridiculous. And check out the brother cop in the back. He can't even believe it, right? <laughs> He's like, oh, there it is, man. The last little piece of my soul just died. <laughs> so how did the questioning of this temporal mastermind go? School resource officers questioned the student about his intentions. The student would only say that it was a clock and was not forthcoming at that time about any other details. That's because there were no other details. Um, it's a clock. And it tells time because it's a clock. I mean, the story's a gut punch, man. I mean, I was a nerd. <laughs> this kid looks kind of like me. I mean, actually, actually, I looked way nerdier than Ahmed. <laughs> Ahmed could kick young Larry's ass, to be honest. But look, here's a kid who was doing everything right, excelling in school, building clocks in his free time. That's just what he liked to do. And this is true. New York City is about to spend $81 million to get kids interested in computer science. And here's a kid who was already interested for free. Uh, all right, well, let me see what this clock looks like. Hmm, all right. Well, it might look like something Jack Bauer might have to disarm, maybe. But once we determine it's the type of clock that doesn't count down, how does he end up in handcuffs? Let's just say it. There's no way the school would have done this if he wasn't Muslim. Yeah. Keep it 100. I mean, seriously. In Texas, you can drive through Chick-fil-A sporting an AR-15 and nobody even bats an eye. <laughs> they just ask if you like waffle fries with it, right? But look, this is the nightly show, so we have to be fair, which is why it's time for our new segment, Five reasons this might not have been completely Islamophobic. I have no idea what that music is. It's so weird. I think it's Middle Eastern, I really do. I really do. Okay, look guys, there are plenty of valid reasons uh, this may not have been an Islamophobic arrest. Like number one, the teachers thought his clock was a time machine and that this kid was trying to go back in time and protect baby Hitler. It's possible. Or number two, one of the students, friends, is a fan of 90s slang and said, hey, that clock is the bomb, which the teachers just misheard. <laughs> Maybe? All right, all right, number three. A uh, reason why this may not have just been complete 100% no holds barred balls to the wall Islamophobia, okay? <laughs> the arresting officer walked in on his wife doing something unholy with a swatch watch, and now he's got an unstoppable vendetta against any and all timepieces. <laughs> Maybe? A little bit? Few people? Okay. That one's possible, that one's possible. Okay, the number four reason it may not have been Islamophobia, weird kids who are good with gadgets always grow up to be super villains. Did you not see The Incredibles? Right? It's possible, it's possible. And finally, the number five reason why arresting a kid with a clock could have absolutely nothing to do with the fact that he's Muslim in Texas it actually is illegal to make anything that acknowledges that time moves forward. <laughs>